John Gaines started bowling at six years old, and though he played other sports, bowling won out when he claimed a junior state title. A dominant local and regional player, John became known nationally when his World Team Challenge group started winning with regularity. I was incredible with the, some of the teams that I got to bowl with and some of the guys I got to bowl with. Learning from them, uh, learning how they just go about their business in, in the game and the sport of bowling. Uh, talking a great deal about it. Not just on the lanes was probably the easiest, it was how they conducted themselves off the lanes that probably taught me the most. First strike in the second from Gaines. Awesome team, awesome talent. You know, his calm demeanor uh, kind of gives a, a calming influence to any team. And uh, he weathers the storms, he can play in and out. His knowledge and background from working at Kegel and, and extensive playing experience, uh, his his floor was very high as well as his ceiling, so he, could, he would never hurt you in a tournament, and he could always lead the, the team to victory. John's real breakthrough came in 1997 and 98 at the USBC Open Championships. His team won all events both years, and John added a singles title as well. In just his third year with his new team, John had three Eagles. I don't know I quite understood it still, the, the the levity of how big that really was um, to make it even that much more you know, extra special to, to win an individual title, but with your teammates. I understand it was an individual accomplishment, but it was only accomplished through the team. Um, that year, I mean, we almost broke the, the team all events record. So my score was just all part of that. John was completely on his own under the TV lights for the U.S. Amateur Championship. Oh, and right that solid. Not a problem. John took home the title and earned his spot on Team USA, an experience he says was like no other. And to wear the colors, first of all, to carry the flag and wear the red, white, and blue is just absolutely, all, really second to none. Um, and then to actually win a medal and be up on the podium and, and then the Star Spangled Banner, that's where you really realize it. I mean, bowling's a lot more than just getting, getting a paycheck out of it and doing it for a living. Um, you know, winning, winning those medals and playing for your country is definitely where it's at. John was a three-time gold medalist for his country at the Tournament of the Americas, spent three years on Team USA, and through it all, John has continued to fight at the Open Championships. He now owns 14 top tens, including four second-place finishes at Nationals, but he saved his best for last. Yes! In 2013, 15 years after his last eagle, John led his team to a record 35-38 total and his fourth eagle. 15 years later is what it took me to win another eagle. And I granted some family time in there and, and, and now working full time you know, you know, for a manufacturer. Um, I maybe didn't put as much time and effort as I did, but the family came first. But to get back to, to winning again, was, especially an, an eagle, was just, it was incredible. John met his wife and made his life through bowling, and now he joins the best of the best. And those who know him best know exactly why John Gaines is a Hall of Famer, both on the lanes and off. You know, his work ethic and his attention to the details of, you know, it, it's a job. And he, you know, he aims to do everything outstandingly, and he does. Um, you know, he puts everything he has into bowling, his job and his family. So, you know, it's it's not a surprise to me that he was able to fill, you know, fulfill his dream of being a Hall of Famer. It's extremely exciting, but at the same time very humbling. Um, it, it is a validation um, of those efforts along those years to, to be elected into the Hall of Fame. But to see the names that you are next to is, is I, I still get goosebumps, you know, even thinking about it.